Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you my first grade Montessori inspired activities. And so I have been sharing a couple of activities with you guys throughout this week and last week. I started off with preschool, then I shared with you some toddler activities for ages one to three, and today I'm moving on to first grade. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll link them below in the description box. Okay, so when I do activities, I like to pick math, literacy, some type of logic, some type of practical life skills. So let me show you guys what I have here today. Starting off with math, this is to learn place value. So here I have some laminated number cards for the thousands, for the hundreds, for the tens, and for the ones. Then I have these little um, cards that I wrote in some numbers, okay? And so the child is going to take one of these cards and is going to place it here and then it's going to write the number down. I'm gonna break down the number. To learn place, place value, to learn how to read numbers. Okay, so. 2,342. So the child is learning how to read the number and now is going to break down the number. So it's going to use these little cards here. So for here is 2,000. So you're going to get 2,000, 1,000, 2,000, then 300. Now guys, these cards are for free on my blog. I'll post a link on the description box. 300. This is a great activity to learn place value, to learn how to read numbers, to learn how to break numbers down. Four tens. 40. And then two ones. One. Oops. And two. And then the child would be able to see the number in expanded form. Okay, so that is the activity for math. So the child will continue doing different numbers that I have here. This one's 5,236, 4,645, and so on. Okay, moving on to geography activity. Here I have felt. We love felt here in our home, and we do a lot of felt activities. So here we have a world map to work on the continents and notions. So here I have some felt pieces, and then the child is going to put the pieces to build the world map. So, Europe, Asia, then we have Antarctica, and we have Australia. So the child is going to put all of the seven continents where they belong with the felt. And I did just go ahead and trace some continents that I printed from the internet and then cut them out here. So then the child is going to label now. So let's start over here with some of the continents first. So Antarctica. So the child goes on labeling Africa. Here we have the Arctic Ocean. Here we have North America. And I will link also all of these printables for free on my blog so you guys can get them. Pacific Ocean. South America. And the child goes on and on labeling all of the oceans and all of the continents. There's a great activity for geography and it's fun for the kids. Okay, moving on to literacy, language. Here we have working on those parts of speech. So here I have sorting pronouns, nouns, and verbs. So here I have some index cards and then I have written here some pronouns, nouns, and verbs. Run, run is an action word, so that's a verb. Frog is a noun. You is a pronoun. And the child goes on and on sorting the different parts of speech. Okay, so moving on, we have a critical thinking logic activity. I always like to have these for my kids. And so they were working on spatial skills. Spatial skills are so important for many fields of study. And they're important for uh, solving many um, basic day-to-day -day tasks as well as using maps, for example. And so spatial skills um, are very important for STEM, for science, for technology, for engineering, for mathematics. Um, and it's even been said that the development of number sense and spatial thinking are closely tied. 
Um, so early spatial intelligence actually predicts um, performance in math and even in reading. So this is a spatial activity, spatial thinking activity. And so I have these little grids and then I have these little erasers. And as you can see, the erasers are in different directions. Some of them are facing to the right, some of them are facing to the left, some of them are upside down. And so the child is going to create this that they see here on this grid over here. So this is going to, for example, over here, so they would create it just as they see it. So here's the dinosaur and it's facing up. Here's the elephant and it's facing this way. It's gonna go on and on to create it. And I even have little chopstick aids here um, so to work on those fine motors at the same time, if to give it more of a challenge. So here is the dinosaur and the dinosaur is facing this way. So at first you guys want to just have the child use their fingers because it's a little bit of a challenge. Here we have a fish. So the child would place a fish here. The elephant. So the elephant. And so again, guys, just see what the child wants to do. If they want to use the chopsticks, go ahead and give them a challenge if it's just too easy for them. So this is a great spatial activity um, to develop those spatial skills. And it's really easy to make. You can do it with whatever you have. You could even use it with unis unifix blocks. You can use it with pom-poms. You can do, do it so many different ways to work on those spatial um, skills. Okay, moving on here, I have a shoe. Um, this is a Melissa and Doug, I uh, believe. And so my first grader is working on tying her shoes and working on those skills. And so she's been using this shoe to master shoe tying. And I'll be showing her in just a minute how she's doing. Here we have some weaving. I love doing handicrafts and I try to do a project every month if I can. I found this in the um, Target dollar spot. I think it was $3. And they get to create this little neat project over here. They can make a pencil holder. They can make... Um, just a little rag here for the kitchen if they want. Um, and it gives you an, an instructions on how to do it. It's very easy. And so I'll show her in just a minute working on that. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you guys what I have here for my first grader. Now I'm gonna show her trying some of these out. Let's go. <music>
Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed our Montessori inspired activities for first grade. Um, and I will link below in the description box any principles that I showed here so that you can get for free on my blog. Also, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button so that you can see um, my weekly, bi-weekly videos. Um, and also, if you would like to receive my videos through email so that you don't miss a thing, directly to your inbox, I'll have all of the information below. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up so that I know that you're interested in these type of videos. Until the next video, bye-bye!